Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to put three divs beside each other using CSS. So right now, as you notice, I have three divs right here and each div has a text. So this one says div right, div left, and div middle. All right, so first of all, if we look at this on a browser, it's going to look like this. So it's just like three divs, they are above each other. So I want one to be here, one in the middle, and one to the right. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the style at the top, because I'm going to type my CSS here inside of the HTML. But you can, you know, use CSS anywhere you want. And right here, I have given each div an ID. All right, so div1, div2, div3. So right now, I'm going to click inside the style, and I'm going to use hashtag div1 to select the first div and I'm going to open two curly braces and I'm going to say background dash color so I'm going to choose a color here you know you can use any color so that's div 1 I'm going to copy it because I have two more divs just to save time and I'm going to change them to their names so I, ha I have to match their IDs right here and I am, I'm going to change these colors sky blue and this one I'm going to change it to something else so let me change this one to green yellow so let's save this if we look at this on a web browser it's going to look like this and they are full width now so now they are 100% so for example if we divide 100 by 3 is going to be 33.33%. So now we will have to give each of these the width of 33.33%. All right. So I'm going to just put a comma there. So I'm going to copy this. I'll give each of them the same thing. So now I'm going to file, save. And now I'm going to refresh the browser. Now they are equal, but we want each of them to be somewhere. So dev right, I want it to be right here. So to do that, what you do is dev right is dev one. So dev one, I'm going to simply float it. So float colon right. Put a semicolon there. Go to file save, and I'm going to refresh it. You'll notice that that dev will go to the right now dev middle i want it to go to the middle so how are we going to do this well we are going to do something else so now if you want to you know move that dev3 to the middle what you'll need to do is you'll need to type in margin colon zero auto and put a semicolon there save it and refresh the page now you know that it's in the middle but this one, as you know, is kind of stick to it. So now we'll float this one to the left. So we will float this one to the left. Let's see what's happening. So float left. So save it, refresh it. So now let's say that you want to give more space to dev middle than dev left and dev right. Well, to do that, what you do is that you look at your worth percentages. So for example, this one is 33.33, they're all the same. So for example, let's decrease 10% from dev right and dev left. So dev 1 and 2, we are going to take 10%. So now, you can always use a calculator. It's fine to use a calculator. So let's say 33.33 minus 10. So it's going to be 23.33. 33 so I'm going to change this one to 23 and this one to 23 and this one so this one in the middle actually so this one will be 23 and this one will be 53 because we have increased 10% on this one and we have decreased these ones so now we are going to save these and refresh it You'll notice that this one has become smaller. This one 
has more space here and this one is you know they are the same you might say wow there is no height here what i'm gonna do well you can always you know add content here and they will increase their height based on your content or you can type in your custom height so for example right here i can say height colon 900 pixels so 900 pixels put a semicolon there and i'm going to copy this height and put it right here and right here also so i'm going to save this and refresh it now you will notice that they have 900 pixels height so if you have not understood some parts of the video you can always re-watch the video and you will get the hang of it all right so this is basically it and i hope the video was helpful and uh, thank you for watching to my videos as always and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so i'll see you all in the upcoming video